Welcome back, kindergarten. Please come have a seat on our magic learning carpet. Yes, legs crossed. Applesauce, great job. Is everyone full from lunch? Yes, how about after recess, the lunch little uh, recess you guys have? That helps you burn off some of that food, huh? Yeah, we like recess, huh? Great, I'm so glad to hear you guys had some fun and ate well. Well, who's ready to learn? Power up. All right, outstanding. You guys are excited. Well, remember, before lunch, we were discussing rules and how to follow directions, right? Great. Well, who can tell me a rule that they, they witnessed or they saw or observed on the way to lunch? Jacob, you raised your hand. Please share. Wow, that's great. Jacob says that says he follows the rules to stay in line and quiet when walking down the hall. Jacob, that is absolutely right. That is a great job. It's very important that we follow that rule because if everyone's walking around talking and moving wherever they want, it could get kind of loud or crazy, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. That's a good rule, Jacob. Good job. Can someone tell me a rule or direction they've seen on the way to the lunch? On the way to lunch or in the lunchroom? Sophia, you raised your hand. Would you like to share? Great. Sophia says to eat your vegetables every day. That's right. She saw that because there's a sign or a poster in the lunchroom about eating our vegetables and why that's important. Where else did we see that sign? I think there's another place. The gym. That's right. Good job. That's really that's a very important rule. We can tell this rule is important to us because it directs us to eat healthy food so we can grow big and strong and play long. That's right. Very good. Are there any other rules you guys remember from this afternoon? Delilah, would you like to share? Delilah says this. Wow, that is very impressive. Delilah says that there is there is a yellow ribbon by the swing set, and we need to stay away because I, I see that. That's what you drew? You drew a yellow ribbon? That is impressive. She used the yellow marker and drew a yellow ribbon. That is a great observation. I seen that you saw that there was yellow tape and you know that that means danger. Very good, Delilah. Yes, that's because there's construction people out there fixing and working on the playground. Great. Did anybody else notice something about the construction workers? How hard they're working? Right? Delilah? Yes, they wear hard hats and funny helmets. That's right. It's a funny helmet. And what color is it? By show of hands. You can tell me their color. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. Their, their uniforms are yellow or orange. Great. Their uniform helps them keep them safe, right? And it helps them, helps them follow the rules, right? Great. That's a good example. I'm so proud of you guys. Y'all are so smart. Who wants to start an activity where we can draw and describe what some of the rules and directions are? Yeah? Would y'all like to do that? Great. We're, uh, we should probably also remember some consequences too, huh? But we all like to follow the rules, right? We don't like to have the consequences. And you guys are so smart. You follow all the rules. So I know that y'all are going to pay attention and act right. Great. Okay. Well, let's get ready to slowly get back to our seats, to our imagination station seats. Okay? You may go. I like how you're moving slowly and respectfully. Great job. Great job. Okay, I've already placed a dry erase board at your table with some markers. So go ahead and get out a marker and get ready, okay? Okay, kindergarten, I'm going to draw or tell you a rule, sign, or symbol. And I want you to draw something that reminds you of that rule or direction, okay? I might try and trick you, so be ready. You guys are so smart to be, to be tricked, though, right? You're too smart? Are you too smart? Okay, well, we're going to see. Let me draw something here. Okay, you guys ready? You got your markers ready? Okay. Can somebody draw what this might mean? Yeah? Who can draw something this reminds them of? About what symbol this means? Remember, it can be a rule, a direction, a consequence, something important about this rule, and where you might see it. I'm going to walk around, and when you're done, I'm going to pick on who raises their hand. I see a lot of you are busy drawing. Good, good. Sebastian, great job. You put your hand up. What did you draw? Would you like to share? Sebastian says it's a stop sign and it means stop and look. That's right. That's what I drew. And he's exactly right. You have to stop and look. Great job, Sebastian. That is correct. 
Jeff, would you like to share? I saw you working hard. That's right. Jeff says it's Jeff says it's red and you can see it on the street. Well, what did you draw? Wow, Jeff drew a street with cars on it with a red marker. That's right. That's exactly where you'll see that, that stop sign. Wow, walking around, I can see that you guys totally nailed this picture. That's a great job. I'm pretty sure I can't fool you guys, but I'm going to try again, okay? So here's another one. I'm going to draw. Let's see if I can get you. Okay, with my yellow marker. Let's see. You guys know what that one is? See, you guys are all working really hard. I don't know if I'm going to fool you. Great job. Keep working. I see Sophia raised her hand. That's right. That's right. Who can tell me what this is? What makes this familiar? Great work. I can see y'all did, Sophia. Hands up. Okay, she's ready to share. You guys keep working and raise your hand when you're ready. Sophia, would you like to share your drawing? Wow, that is great, Sophia. I can tell she was paying attention outside at recess. She used a yellow marker and made yellow tape. Great job, because that symbol means the same as the tape, right? Yes, that lets us know that colors like orange and yellow mean caution. That's right, to be careful about danger in the area, like at the swing set. I see most of you drew something similar, right? So you guys understand that. Great job, Jacob. Please share your drawing. I, I knew you were working hard too. What did you draw? You drew some construction workers working on the playground. I see that. They're hard at work, huh? And they have funny helmets on. They're right. They're wearing their uniform, their yellow protective gear. Great. That, that shows that they're working in, in dangerous areas. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are working so hard. Great job. Let's see if I can get you on this one. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can fool you here. Can someone show me what that means? Or what that looks like? Has anyone seen this before? Wow. You guys are ready. You're ready. <laughs> Great work. You guys are already fast drawing. I wonder what y'all know about this picture. Wow, all these hands are up already. I'm going to walk around and look. Wow, Delilah, I see that your hand's up. What would you like to share, if that's okay? Delilah drew in red marker kids playing on the playground. Wow, okay. Well, who, who can tell me why this person's off to the side? Jeff, you raise your hand. Please tell me what Delilah drew. If you show him. <laughs> wow. Jeff, that is, that is a great job that you notice that someone's in timeout. Why would someone be in timeout at recess? Delilah, do you know? Oh, Delilah's showing us a consequence. Delilah says someone didn't follow the rules and was out of line and too loud. Sometimes that happens, right? So you have to pay attention to follow the rules or you can experience timeout. And those are called consequences, remember? Wow, you guys are some superstar learners. I am so impressed with you guys and how you showed me some consequences right then. That's a great example. When you don't follow the rules, that's what happens. Does anyone else want to share? Sebastian, you raised your hand. Would you please share what you drew? Wow, Sebastian, he remembers the sign like in the hallway. That's right. And in the lunchroom, it means to be quiet and stay in line. You guys, I know that I'm not the best artist. But you guys understood what I drew and you know what it means. So sometimes when you see signs, you have to interpret, right? You have to try to understand what it means. Like, you know, yellow and caution go together, right? Right. I know you guys know the rules here at school and it's important to follow them, right? Wow. So um, how, how about when we go home and when we're out with our family, do you think that you could remind your family of some of those rules or symbols? And so you can remind them of what they mean? Great. I know you can. Who, who wants to see if their parents and family know about some rules 
and they could ask their family about some of the rules and they could share with them about how to um, follow the rules when they get bigger. Yeah, some rules that they might know that you'll have to follow when you get bigger. Yeah, like Mr. McKeel. That's right. Rules help keep you safe. I'm so impressed with you guys and how y'all know that. Okay, well, let's get ready to put our markers up and clean our boards. It's time for dismissal. All right, our adventure, or, and line up at our adventure wall and get ready for another adventure tomorrow. All right, you guys, I'm so proud. I'm going to go ahead and tell Officer Pack how impressed I am with you guys and let him know that you guys are going to follow the rules all the time, even when you get big. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow.